remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? This week, talk show host Wendy Williams ruffled some feathers after she made off-cuff remarks about gay men. In less than 24 hours, she issued an apology to the LGBTQ plus community, which accounts for much of her fan base. She posted a video addressing a segment of the Wendy Williams show where she told gay men to stop wearing women's skirts and our heels. I'll start by saying I apologize. I did not mean to offend my LGBTQ plus community on yesterday's show, she began. I did not realize until I got home and I watched a second running of our show here in New York. She went on to say she always watched to critique her delivery, the cameras, the audience. She also said that she's persnickety about how she goes about doing her show and it's never from a place of malice. Okay. Let's assume that Wendy is genuine in her apology. Y'all know how this goes. Why even go there? The LGBTQ plus community is, has been identified as a group that is on the protected list. Even in social media, that is a group that if you attack, you will be attacked. So why even go there if you already know you're going to have to apologize? I think sometimes people can get blinded by the lights. Sometimes, you know, and, and Wendy, I see it in her face a lot of times. Wendy looked overworked at times. Uh, and she looks stressed out a lot. I think she got a lot on her plate. And I think when you talk that much, it is very easy to uh, say something that you really didn't want to say. What's that word called when you when you say something? That they call it, um, what's the word? Um, man, I just had a tip of my tongue. Uh, Freudian slip, that's what it's called. Freudian slip. So you say something that you're subconsciously thinking and you blurt it out accidentally. They call it a Freudian fraud, fraud, slip. That's easy to do when you talk as much as Wendy Williams talks. Now, personally, I think that she really did mean what she said, but she really didn't mean to offend. I guess she thought it, I don't know, I don't know how she didn't think they were going to get offended by that, but she, I don't think she, I don't, I, I don't think she meant to offend them, but I do think that she meant to say what she said. She just didn't really calculate that, that fire was going to get thrown on her, on her like that. And that was a quick apology. I think uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce is still waiting on their apology. It's been over a week now. What is this? So when was Super Bowl Sunday? Today is uh, So that was what, two weeks ago? A week ago. I can't remember, man. These days are just fuzzy to me. On a personal note, I have no problem with people apologizing. I think the willingness to apologize is an attribute, not a weakness. Unless... You're only doing it to gain favor. Can't stand those types. But let me tell you how to limit these apologies. Because I'm pretty much sick and tired of every damn time you turn around, somebody is sticking their foot in their mouth, and before they can finish their disparaging statement, they're apologizing. Here's how you limit these apologies. All you got to do is engage your brain before you open your mouth. No more talk.